and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Rainbow. And thanks for joining us for our Grammar Station unit this month. Yay! It's our monthly grammar party. I'm so excited. Now the topic that we will be reading about while also learning a little bit of grammar in our first dialogue is getting everyone to follow the rules.、Mm. Well, actually, this has been a big topic in a lot of different places, especially this year and, of course, last year because of the challenges of COVID nineteen. Lots、That's、of new rules, right. right? Because of the dangers、mm-hmm. that the COVID nineteen pandemic has brought to all countries and cities, more and more governments are introducing new laws to help fight the spread of this disease. So, of course, these include. Laws about the businesses that can be open and which ones need to close down, as well as laws about how many people are allowed to get together and how far we have to be from each other,、mm-hmm. etc. And of course, there have been the laws on wearing masks too. Here in Taiwan, we've actually been quite lucky. The COVID outbreak hasn't affected Taiwan too much. And when people have been asked to follow certain rules, like wearing masks while they are out in public, in Taiwan they have been quite willing to go along. Most、yeah. people have been following the rules. It's been very rare to see people argue when they're asked to just. Put on a mask. They wear masks anyways. It's、yeah. more common. But in more other places, like the U.S., where people don't like wearing masks, there's a big debate, and a lot of people get into arguments because Americans focus a lot on personal freedom, and they don't think that the government should be forcing them to wear masks, even if it's there to protect themselves and others.、Mm, so. So that brings us to our grammar station topic. How do you get people to follow the rules, especially when they might not want to follow the rules? Well, it should be interesting. Very. But first, we need to look at all of today's new vocabulary, and we are going to do that right now. 今天的两位主角 Lou and Becca 是两位教练，他们在聊关于当教练的心得。我们先来看几个单字。第一个单字 rule rule 规矩规定是个名词。If you don't follow the rules, you can't play the game. If you don't follow the rules, you can't play the game. 这是一个英文常常有的说法。如果你不遵守规矩的话，你就不能玩这个游戏了。第二个单词 practice practice 练习。在这边是当名词，这个字也可以当动词。I'm sorry I didn't go to practice last week. I'm sorry I didn't go to practice last week. 很抱歉，我上周没有去练习。这边的练习像是打球或是乐团的练习。第三个单词 sign sign 签署签名是个动词。Please sign your name here. Please sign your name here. 请在这签上您的大名。最后一个单词 whole whole 全部的。整个的是个形容词。I ate the whole pie by myself. I ate the whole pie by myself. 我一个人把整个派吃完了。好了，我们现在看完单词例句，一起回到课文。Lou and Becca are talking about coaching. How do you get everyone to come to practice on time? I have my ways. What are they? You can let me know. I won't tell anyone. I have them sign a contract before they can join the team. Explanation one. Okay, so part A of our grammar station unit for this month has the title "Getting Everyone to Follow the Rules." Everyone.、Mm, well, now that, that can be a tricky thing to do. Because often there is a small number of people who might not want to follow the rules for some reason. Yeah. So how do you get them to go along with everyone else? So our story has two characters whose names are Lou and Becca, and we're going to start their dialogue. Here it says, 
Lou and Becca are talking about coaching. 在这边加一个补充单词 coaching， 就是当教练。他们两个 talk about coaching， 就是他们在分享当教练的一切。Okay, so I guess they both work as coaches on some kind of sports team, maybe at a school or something. So they have to lead every player and make sure that. Everybody follows the same rules because if the team players don't follow the rules, then it can break down something that's really important, which is team spirit. 在这边补充一下 ，team spirit 就是团队精神，在团体里面非常重要。Yeah, very true. You got to keep that team working together、yes. as a team, or、yes. else everything becomes difficult. So it looks like Lou begins the dialogue by asking Becca. A question. He asks her, "How do you get everyone to come to practice Ooh, on time?" Good question. Ah, okay. Now this could be a problem if certain players are always showing up late.、Mm. The coach has certain things that he or she wants to do that day in the practice. Yeah. And if they're always waiting to start until a few late people arrive. Well, it can really throw off the schedule and make everyone's life and job more difficult. Yeah, and also make other team players unhappy with their teammate who's not cooperating. Yeah, very true. Okay, well, we'll have to wait to hear Becca's advice for Lou because first we need to go and check in with Daphne to get some advice on our first grammar point.、Mm, yes. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是。On time 意思是准时，是时间副词片语。使用的时候，通常放在句子的尾巴。例如 ，The train arrived on time. 火车准时抵达。Okay, so we are back now. Coach Lou is asking Coach Becca for some advice on how to get the players on his team to show up for practices on time. It seems likely that Lou probably has one or two players on the team who are always late for practice, and this is starting to cause some problems on the team that he coaches. Right, but Becca answers Lou's question by giving an answer that is a little bit、mm, mysterious. She says, "I have my ways." Hmm. When someone says that, it's kind of a secret, right? So it sounds like her ways. Are something that she doesn't really want to tell Lou. Yeah. How do you get your cake so delicious? I have、oh, my ways. Okay. You know, I don't really want to tell you. It's my little secret method. But、oh, anyways,、okay. Lou really does need some advice from Becca. This is probably a big problem from him, and you know he's really tried other things, and it's just not working. So he really needs some good advice. She, Becca, might want to keep her coaching secrets to herself, but Lou needs help. You know, the same way a chef might not tell you the secrets about their delicious food, because then you'll make the same thing. But in this situation, he really needs help. He's got a difficult situation with one of his teams right now, so Lou doesn't give up. He keeps asking her questions. He really wants Becca to tell him. He says to her, "What are they?" And then he adds, "You can let me know. I won't tell anyone." Yes, Becca, your secret is safe. Please tell us. And so finally, Becca tells us.、Yes. As we reach our break, she says, "I have them sign a contract before they can join the team."、Mm. Interesting. Lou 想问 Becca 到底是怎么让大家准时练习呢？一开始 Becca 就不不告诉他，他说：“嗯，我有我自己的方法。”他就非常的神秘。后来才跟 Lou 说，原来他是透过合约的方式约束他的团队。所以我们在这边加几个补充单字 ：mysterious 是神秘的 ，contract 就是合约或契约 ，to sign a contract 就是签合约。So I guess she has all the 
the players sign a contract and the contract tells them exactly what they promise to do on the team, like responsibilities that everybody agrees to. Right, and then by signing the contract, all the team members are also agreeing to follow the rules,、mm -hmm. so they can't complain later on、no. if they break the rules and then get in trouble in some way. They sign the contract. They know the rules. They have to live by those rules. All right. So I think we can see how this might work. Contracts. But I'm sure there's more to it, and we'll learn all about that after this quick break.、I、never thought about doing that. Then I get them to follow my rules. When they don't, they get an X. And when anyone gets an X, I make the whole team run. Does that really work? Sure. Nobody wants to make everyone pay the price for their mistake. Explanation two. So Coach Becca has just told Coach Lou. Her big secret for how she gets the players on the sports team that she coaches to follow the same rules. How does she do it? She has all the players sign a contract. This contract lists out all the rules that they're expected to follow. So by signing it, the players agree to all the rules. Right, and for Lou, this is a great idea. As he says to Becca after she explains this whole contract idea, he says, "I never thought about doing that."、Mm. For Coach Lou, it's definitely a case of <laughs> mind blown. Okay, so let's get Daphne in here to <laughs> blow our minds with some more amazing grammar advice in our second grammar point. It's gonna blow your mind. The second grammar point. Somebody thinks about 加 v r n g， 意思是某人考虑做某事。Think 是不及物动词，意思是想、思考。三态是 think、thought、thought， 后方用介系词 about 关于引出思考的事情。这个事情可以用名词或动名词 v r n g 来表达。例如 ，Look thought about his career。Look, 思考自己的职业。又如 ，Evette thought about writing a book. Evette 考虑写一本书。So now we and Lou know about Coach Becca's contract idea, but getting the players to sign the contract is just the first step, right? Yes, so it's good to have them sign. But what happens when somebody actually breaks the rules? How does this contract work? Hmm. So Becca keeps explaining. She tells Lou, "Then I get them to follow my rules." And then she says, "When they don't, they get an X. And when anyone gets an X." I make the whole team run. Oh, so all of the players are punished when one person doesn't do his job. So everybody is responsible for everybody because nobody wants to run or be the person that makes everybody run.、Mm, yeah, I sure wouldn't.、Uh, sorry, guys, I was late, so we all got to run around the、mm. gym twenty times. Good rule.、Uh, I can see how that could work quite well, especially on a team、yeah. where. Everyone knows everyone else, and they already have some kind of relationship and team spirit holding them together.、Mm -hmm. So now that Lou has heard this whole idea and how it works, he has one more important question for Becca. He asks, "Does that really work?" Like you know, in the real world, has Becca actually used this idea with a real team before, or is it just an idea? So as we reach the end, she tells Lou, "Sure, nobody wants to make everyone pay the price for their mistake. No, the players on this team, Becca's team, are teammates. So of course, they're probably maybe friends as well, and they don't want to get anybody else in trouble. Well, that's an interesting idea that might work really well, 
especially for small groups and people that already know each other.、Mm, yes, definitely. And Rainbow and I, well, we would be bad teammates if we didn't take this chance to hand the show over to Daphne one more time before we finish, because she has one more grammar point to tell us about, and if we don't listen to it, we'll all be in trouble. So take it away, Daphne. 第三则文法是 somebody pays the price for something. 意思是某人为某事付出代价。Pay 是及物动词，意思是支付、偿还。三态是 pay、paid、paid。Price 是名词，意思是代价。后方用介系词 for 为了引出要付出代价的事。例如 ，Dylan paid the price for his mistake. Dylan 为过错付出代价。Okay, ladies and gents, that's all the time that we have for today, unfortunately. But please come back to join us tomorrow for the second dialogue of our grammar station unit. We will see you then. Bye bye. Bye. Part A: Getting everyone to follow the rules. Lou and Becca are talking about coaching. How do you get everyone to come to practice on time? I have my ways. What are they? You can let me know. I won't tell anyone. I have them sign a contract before they can join the team.、I've、never thought about doing that. Then I get them to follow my rules. When they don't, they get an X. And when anyone gets an X, I make the whole team run. Does that really work? Sure. Nobody wants to make everyone pay the price for their mistake. Hello, 同学，大家好，我是季安老师。我们今天带大家看应答问题 ，questions and the response. Alright， 今天呢要进入到 where 了哦，之前是 when， 现在是 where。where 呢一样要听前面两个字，为什么呢？你要听得出时态 ，OK？ 听得出时态，所以你要听的是 where 加 be 动词，还是 where 加助动词？你听到如果是 where did。OK， 答案呢？你记得，千万千万用过去的时态。OK， 那你听到说 where is 什么什么？那你就要听一下地点 ，OK？ 所以这个是要聆听的重点 ，All right？ 常见的问题形式啊、哦，比如说，呃 ，Where's the nearest post office？ 最近的这个邮局在哪里啊 ？Where's the subway station？Where did you put the meeting minutes？ 啊，这个字重要啊，就是会议记录，不是会议分钟哦 ，OK？Meeting、okay? minutes 或者是 the minutes 就好了，这个要加上 s，All right？ 常见的回答啊 ，Where is the nearest post office across from the park？ 是不是介系词片语啊 ？Near the school 就是一个介系词加个名词啊。Next to the supermarket， 这个答案是 OK 的。Where is the subway station？ 你也可以用时间的方式来回答，为什么呢？哦，离这边十五十五分钟 ，About fifteen minutes from here。这个也是回答地点的方式嘛。哦 ，fifty meters from here。距离啊、哦，这边离这边五十公尺，离这边十分钟、十五分钟等等，这个也可以拿来回答 where。OK， 再来 ，Where did you put the meeting minutes？ 你放在哪里呀、啊、？The manager took it， 被拿走了，这可不可以？这可以哦，很呃，这个比较高端一点，因为你听到 where 的时候，你就要等着这个。地点，地点，结果出现了一个人 ，the manager， the manager took them， 这样可不可以 ？OK 的。最后 ，they're in the filing cabinet， 好，这有讲出地点哦，放在这个档案柜里面 ，it's in the filing cabinet。OK， 好，那我们来看一下这些例题吧。Where will you meet the client? A. This is not a good time. B. The meeting starts at four o'clock sharp. C. In the small conference room. Okay, 答案是哪一个呢？答案是 C。哦，如果你有听到了 ，Where will you meet the client？ 你要在哪边碰面呢 ？In the small conference room. Okay. 那 A 呢，就是来混淆你的，因为你听到这个 Where， 你如果没有听清楚，听起来像 When 的话，你就会想要选 A。再来 ，The meeting starts at four o'clock sharp. Meet 跟这个 meeting 类似的发音，是不是？所以再见了。All right. 再来，我们再看第二个例题。Where have you been for the last two hours? A. No, I've never been there. B. Since last week. C. Meeting with our boss, Mr. Turner. 
。All right， 这个呢也是比较高端的回答方法。但是如果你有听到的话，是 OK 的。Where have you been for the last two hours？ 前两个小时你跑到哪去啦？答案 C 要 meeting with our boss, Mr. Turner。虽然这个是一个人名啊、哦，但是呢，它还是可以拿来当回答的，因为他说的是什么？哎，你人去哪啦？他说哦，跟老板开会。这个也是一个地点的展现。OK， 好 ，since last week 是不对的啊、哦，自从上个礼拜，我、哦、这个感觉是问时间。那 A 呢 ？No, I've never been there。后面都不用看了，因为你用 no。去回答 where 这个就错了，所以 A 跟 B 都再简单，选 C。OK， 好，那我们再看一些啊、哦，呃，表示这个出处或对象啊、哦，比如说 Where did you learn about this position？ OK， 这个呢是回答的时候可以什么？可以一个地点嘛 ，from a job website， 可不可以人 ？Jack， OK， Jack told me， 这样可不可以？也是可以的。OK， 好，再来我们看到像这个。Where do I turn in my time sheet each month? 每个月工作记录表交到哪边？哦、oh, ，那这样 give it to the HR department. A 呢？可不可以用问题去回答问题？也是 OK 的。Why don't you ask Sam? 你去问 Sam 好了。我也不知道。就是把这个问题呢丢给别人啊、哦，这个也是一种方法。OK， 好，那我们来听一下这个例题哦。记得哦 ，W H 的疑问词听清楚哦。第一个字，然后还有它的关键字。Ready? Number one. When will you take your annual leave? A. I think so. B. January third is my birthday. C. I'm waiting till September. Okay, 答案呢很明显是 C， 对不对 ？I'm waiting till September. 他说 When will you take your annual leave? 年假什么时候休呢？这个 I think so 有一点点像是 yes 的概念。Okay， 所以呢，这个就不能去回答。这个 when 啊，这种 wh 的疑问词 ，January third 这个 OK is my birthday 就错了啊，因为这个没有回答到问题啊，我要等到九月，这个是正确的答案。再来一题 ，Number two， Where is that gray jacket I brought home from the dry cleaners last night? A. I hung it in the closet. B. It should be dry by now. C. It goes with the green shoes. 答案是。A, OK， 希望你有答对哦。Where is that gray jacket I brought home from the dry cleaners last night? Where is that gray jacket? Gray jacket 在哪里？哦，所以答案是 A. I hung it in the closet. 这边有讲到地点嘛，我把它挂在这个衣橱里面。那这边 B 哦 ，It should be dry by now. Dry 跟这个 dry 是不是类似同相同的发音 ？C 呢 ，It goes with green shoes. 看到这个 gray， 然后这边有一个 green。感觉哦，就是来混淆你的，因为它是同类型的这个单字哦，就是相关的单字，通常是 distractor 来混淆你的。以上是我们今天的课程内容，我是金安老师，我们下堂课见，拜拜。Hello， 大家好，我是 Henry， 欢迎收看我们一分钟的单元。在这一分钟的时间里面，我们会复习四个单字，也会造句练习。同学们，您都准备好了没？好，一分钟计时，开始。第二单字呢，它是表达规则或是规定，这字叫什么？叫做 rule。Rule. 好，它当动词也有统治的意思哦。那我们这边用名词来造句。Students must obey school rules. 学生必须遵守校规。第二单词是表达练习，可以当名词或当动词，它叫做 practice. Practice. 那我们是用名词造句。Practice makes perfect. 练习造就完美，也就是说熟能生巧的意思。第三个单词呢，它是当动词，可以用来表达签署、签名。这个字叫做 sign。Sign。Please sign your Your name in a blank space. 请在空白处签上您的名字。那么第四个单字呢？它可以当形容词来形形容这是全部的或是整个的。它叫做 whole, whole. 例如 Ian spent the whole day in the library. Ian 一整天都待在图书馆。那个 the whole day 就是整天嘛。好，太好啦！我们在一分钟之内已经复习完四个单字喽。同学表现很棒，那记得一样要多多复习，多多造句练习。我们下次见，拜拜。